last time you're ever gonna see this car in this color. This is the last time you're ever gonna see the Hellcat in this color. Because right now, it's drop off day. We're dropping off my six speed Hellcat to Mo Mods where they're gonna be doing the wrap on the vehicle. It's gonna be pretty sick, man. I'm pretty excited to see what, what happens and stuff. Their shop is really cool too, man. They do a lot of a lot of cool wraps here. Um, like for an example, this G-Wagon is completely taken apart, completely broken down. This pickup truck, this Chevy pickup truck, nice. Nice matte army green. That's really cool. And they do cars of like all levels, including like supercars and all that stuff like that. So like I said, just excited to get this done. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys the color yet. Although you guys picked the color, I want it to still be like a full reveal. So you know what color is gonna be. You just don't know exactly what it's gonna look like. And some of you don't even know what the color is gonna be because you didn't vote. All right, bro, so we about to go over this car, yes, see what sir. it needs. We gotta have to uh, make sure we don't miss anything for you guys. So uh, easy process and uh, make sure it goes as easy as possible. Hell um, yeah. So I like that. Need to be done. Let's go over yeah, so there's a few things we gotta correct. You guys know we went through all the different videos, and you know I've had this car now for two years. It happens, right? Uh, I've had this rebumper sprayed before, um, and when we put the bumper back on, they didn't put the double-sided tape that holds the grill, so it kind of moves. See? Plus, you see How the tabs move. in there. So now red. you can see the tabs. We need it to close just like so, that. So, yeah, so he's gonna fix that. He's gonna double side tape that so it don't come out no more. Exactly. So All right. That's number one. That's number, one. number two is you guys remember when I told you somebody hit me? And uh, what we did was we did a, a great job of paintless dent removal. Shout out to Got Dent on uh, Instagram, Got Dents. He did an amazing job because this was wrecked. I showed, I showed y'all the, uh, the pictures and video of how how bad it was when that guy hit me um but he actually removed all of the, the the dents that were there with pdr but however it leaves waviness like when you do a, a repair that big it'll never be a flat piece of metal again so it's so it's wavy right so what we're gonna do is um mo mods not only does he do wraps but he also does repair as well so we're gonna make it perfect before we wrap it so He's gonna smooth it out with some clean body work. It doesn't need a lot. It just needs a little bit of smoothing. Like, it won't be, don't think big Bondo, y'all. Don't no, think no, chunks of Bondo. Of love, Very little. It, just, it just needs a little bit to smooth out the waviness. Yep. I don't know if y'all can see, but it has like waviness. It's gonna be so little, it has, you like, won't even. Waviness. It's very hard to see, but I see and it drives me crazy every time I see it. You would see it more with the blue too. <laughs> right with the blue you're probably gonna see it more yeah, the, red the red hides it yes, exactly. right so this is what happens to challengers from the factory they get creases for some reason in this pillar i don't know why but it happens to all challengers especially when you lower them i think it's because they're so big and heavy i think that's probably why 100%. they fl they flex a lot and they always get like a crease right there if you notice challengers that are lowered it happens the last thing is this fender also needs a little bit of love I don't know if you guys could see this right here. This uh, this little imprint right there. It's right on the crease. So, we'll so he's going to fix that. And as you guys can see, the door was already rubbing a little bit. Yeah, and with the wrap now, it's going to get even tighter. Right. So we're going to have to make sure that it's... So they're going to have to adjust the fitment. Mm -hmm. So basically, not only are they going to wrap the car, but they're going to perfect it, doing all the necessary little body work that it needs to be 100% perfect. We're going to have to... Um, concept on the fender, we gotta take care of this. Right, so also in addition to that, um, when I had removed this fender, when we were doing some motor stuff, I removed the fender, we didn't put it back right 100%. Uh, that's totally my fault, I tried to DIY it, and the fitment isn't perfect, so he's gonna make the fitment absolutely perfect. So we don't have to worry whatsoever. But, yo man, I'm super excited for how this thing is gonna me come too, out, bro. Miami Blue, I mean, the crowd chose it, so we're doing it for you guys. So <laughs> that's it. So, that's, that's the cool thing. What did you tell me to do when we were debating colors? What did you do? Yellow. Uh, yeah. but, but what did you say, what did you tell me to do in order for us to choose a color? Oh, hit, hit up the crowd. Make them choose. Make, see what excites them. And uh, I think that was honestly 
right move, right? 100%, man. So basically, you guys are choosing what's going on this car. I didn't choose it. You guys are choosing it. So I think the blue is also going to go well with the sepia interior. I think all of that is going to match up pretty well. Maybe it's color contrast the, the, the blue might be a little better than the yellow you know? i agree right, right. cuz this and the yellow might be clash a little bit but i think the blue is going to go well in addition to that we're going we're going to go with black wheels front and rear as you guys see right now my drag radials are black and then my my aftermarket wheels are bronze we're going to switch that up i'm going to go back to factory wheels in the front gloss black and uh i'm make these wheels also gloss black so it's 20 in the front 18 in the back now when I did the car and I modified it, uh, part of the things that I did, I hate the bottoms that are plastic. So Performance Group did these for me. They painted the bottoms and we did, instead of just a solid color, we did a two-tone. So that's gonna remain two-tone, but where the black is gonna stay black, where the red is going to go blue now. And as you guys see, the side skirts are the same thing. Now listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I scrape a lot with this car because it's so low and I like to drive in the city. So you're gonna notice that the bottom of the side panels is gonna have some scrape marks okay. from hitting the ground. And you can see it's like it bent up. Yep. Yep. Stuff stuff like that is from me bottoming out. It happens a little bit because I drive this car and I drive it in the city. We're gonna have this part off. So right. We're take a look at the tabs and make sure see that if is, we can right. make it a little better when we put them back on. Right, right. Most likely it's just the tabs behind it. Exactly. Uh the only thing I want to do under the hood. That I was thinking about that we could do so that it like doesn't jump out at you is just this bar right here. Okay, sure. Well, well, black or uh black. black. Yeah. Make it black. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Make it black. Absolutely. And then it'll make it look like all this stuff was added in red or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh look, good. Yeah. So that's the plan, guys. We got our work cut out for us. Well, sorry. Momaz, you got your work cut out for you. <laughs> About a week and a half process, give or take. I'm going to give them two weeks, guys. I don't believe in... The, yeah, probably with the body work. I'm... Yeah, you got to do the body work. Yeah. Listen, always under promise, over deliver. Over deliver, yes. Always. So tell me two weeks and get it done. And, and, and you tell me two weeks and it's done in 13 days, you look like a hero. You tell me two weeks and it's done in four, 15 days, you're f You understand? That's how it works. 100%. So always under promise, over delivery. So he told me a week and a half, I had it in my mind two weeks. Two weeks, bro, that's it. Uh, with the body work, we're probably gonna need the extra two days or so, so add that in there would be great, you know? All right, sounds good, fellas. Yo, I'm excited, man, let's me get too. it done. Me too, stay tuned, you guys. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so the, for the first time ever, I'm gonna get to ride in a wide body scat pack. Uh, scat packs are with the 392 engine in it. It's my first time ever riding in a wide body charger. I've never been inside one of these cars before. I know it's the same on the inside, but on the outside, it just looks so crazy. They look, they look so good. So just so you know, this is my first time ever. This is my first time ever in a new wide body charger. I've never been in one of these cars before. Never been in a wide body charger before. First time, wanna give me the time of your life? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't need the time of my life. No, 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 no. No, no, I mean, I, it's just amazing how much power these cars have naturally aspirated for the money exactly. like how much is but the wide bodies are like eight grand more right it's like 50. yeah so i guess so i think the regular thing so this car is fifty thousand. Fifty thousand is the sticker price on it okay got it but i got a deal for i got it for like 46. wow so you got four grand off yep wow this is a lot of car for forty thousand dollars y'all Yo, just look at the fenders. Look at the fenders in the mirror. It's pretty dope. <laughs> 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 
Well, do you did you do any exhaust work? Muffler nah, delete, it's, nothing? It's stock. That's stock? That's stock. <laughs> That's stock. I did not know they were this loud. Stock. I just expect everybody to do the muffler delete. Are you gonna do that? Nah, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I don't want to avoid the warranty. I don't know how that works. To be honest with you. Got it. I don't think a mid muffler delete will avoid the warranty though. Oh, <laughs> yo, this got squirrely just now. Wow. That's the thing. That's the thing. This motor is actually a bigger displacement than a Hellcat. Motor, the architecture is the same, okay. but they sleeve the walls in the Hellcat, so it made the displacement smaller. Wow. So your your motor uh, can move 6.4 liters of air. My motor can only move 6.2. So your your cylinder walls are bigger than the Hellcats. So if I throw a blower on this, I'll be walking Hellcats all day. So that's the problem, though, because your cylinder walls are bigger, they're thinner. So if you put a blower on this, you can only run like safely, like on E85, you might be able to run 10 pounds of boost, right? Whereas Hellcats from this factory run 11. So from factory they run 11, then Red Eyes run 15. So you can't get the amount of boost needed to, to walk the Hellcat, even though it's the same motor and even though you're, you're moving more air. Does that make sense? Oh, he just took the traction off. You, uh, let me man, my seatbelt is all we good. Oh, uh, here we go. Still grips because I got 305 all over, all around. That's right, the wide body. Yep. I just love the transmission though, man. I, I that's that's the what sold me on the car. The transmission, the like the way it shifts, it's the cutout, it's the cutout noise that, that shifts, it's, right. It's, and that's pretty cool. You have all the options from the Hellcat. It's like the same thing. Track, sport, custom. No, I don't. I also have the line lock. Oh, yeah. oh, you got line lock? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> and you got the big brakes I saw. Yeah, the Brembo brakes. Yeah. They ain't gonna let you go, bro. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. A lot of people always ask me, you know, do you need a Hellcat? And the answer is, hell no, you don't need a Hellcat. If you could have just as much fun in this car. The only time you need the Hellcat is if you're going up against cars that are like stupid power. Of course. Otherwise, you can beat 90% of the cars on the road. So this car is at least 550, no, I'm sorry, 450 horsepower. 485, oh, to the wheels. To the wheels. Wow, so okay. So it's 485 horsepower, I think that's but it makes, car. But it makes more yeah. than what they say. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, still, it's still fast enough for me, trust me, I ain't going anywhere else with that 500 Like horsepower. I said, you can beat, you can still beat 90% of the cars on the road. Like, the only time you need Hellcats is when you gotta beat the, the 5%. <laughs> You just need to beat the five percent, but absolutely, you know, if I didn't do, if I didn't have a YouTube channel and I didn't love racing as much as I do, I would absolutely get a three ninety two horse cat. <laughs> oh, I don't want you to get a ticket, bro. Oh, 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 bro. We really just passed the cop. Can you chill? Like, can you chill? We, I, get I don't want to go to jail. Why would you go to jail? Yo, just stop, just bro. Just stop. Please. Put your hands out the window. Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, don't pass it. <laughs> yeah, really so we got a 6 Series that want the smoke right now. Yo, he came around us flying after he heard the exhaust. <laughs> but it's nowhere to go. It's too much traffic. It's too much traffic. We are, we are back, back at Mo Mods. The car is uh, now starts the process. Now starts the process, the breakdown of the car. They're about to start breaking it down now. All right, guys. So like I said, we're about to start the breakdown now. 
as you notice, the fender flare is on on this side. The fender flare up there, they already took off, so no fender flare up there. And as we swing around, remember I talked about the things that we were going to fix? So now that's all fixed. Uh, really clean, nice body work right there. Looks like the clear is coming out this fender now. As you guys can see, we did the rear quarter and we did the door. We did both. So it's like perfectly smooth now. And like I said, we didn't use like, we didn't use like a ton of Bondo or nothing like that. It's just a little filler, just enough to smooth it out. Like they didn't have to fix any dents or anything. It's just a matter of smoothing it out. So now it's perfectly smooth, perfectly flat. So that when we wrap it, it doesn't have any issues. So more than likely, I'll probably never, I don't know, at some point, I'm probably gonna sell this car this year, maybe toward the end of the year. I'm gonna sell this car, so I need this footage so that this way, whoever buys this car could see uh, what's done underneath. If I ever wanna unwrap this car going forward, I'm gonna have to spray this side. So it could all be blent and perfect like the driver's side is. The driver's side is perfect. Like nothing, nothing on the driver's side. But on the passenger side, we'd have to, we'd have to spray it. So there you guys have it guys. Bodywork came out great, phenomenal.